Hi guys, I'm gonna do a video today. <clears throat> There's a few things going on in my loft, but first I wanna show you just today um, what I've been using and what I'm using. Um, so these are my my feeding cans. Uh, it's my the baby formula that I get from uh, like my two girls. Um, but it comes with a lid, so I fill these up. I have some Versalaga start in here. And uh, I put my, I got this, the Vita King multiple oil based vitamin. It's just a bunch of oils, but uh, that's for mixing. And then um, I put it in there, shake it up. And then I add, I got this now this year. It's the Breeder Advantage from Castle. And I got the Be Pure which is the brewer's yeast. Um, and that's all going on their feed. And then in the water, I got tea and I got, today I'm using red cell in the tea. It's the first time I've done that combo, but shouldn't be an issue. Anyway, some of the products I use, I have um, a bunch more in the back, but uh, I'm not using that today. I basically use this almost every day or every other day. <clears throat> Alright guys. Alright, so I said I had a few updates. It's mainly about the egg situation, so... One, two, three nest boxes are giving me issues. Um, today I noticed that they have two eggs but one of them's cracked. They have one egg, they might be laying another. And their eggs, I'm not sure if they're fertile. Uh, if anybody watches this, hit me up in the comment section if you know, when can I candle these eggs? Like how long does it take? I mean, I was gonna wait three, four days and candle them and see if they're good. But um, I'm not very professional about that. I don't know much. Um, there we go. The hen's in the wrong nest box again. For some reason, she's just... So in my last video, I, I think I might have told you that these two switched places. Well, they switched back. And there were eggs in here that this hen was sitting on and they were not her eggs. It turns out she's laying her own eggs now. I think, I mean, that's as much as I can... That's the conclusion I'm coming up with. Um, I don't think the grizzles have given me anything yet. I think they're the ones who laid on the floor. Um, these are over here and over here are 2020 birds that were given to me. They both seem to have laid eggs, no problem. Uh, up here, 2020 eggs, uh, 2020 birds that I read, I bred and raised. And um, let's see, we got one egg in there. I'm not sure. If it's fertile, or what happened to the other one, or if there's one more to come. You know, I'm out here a lot, but I'm not out here enough. With the drama that goes on in here, I can't keep up. Um, even if I spend an hour out here at night, it's still not enough. You really need, like, eyes on these guys 24-7 to know what's going on. Um, I'm thinking about taking down these plastic nest, nest fronts. Now that they all kind of know their boxes, but I don't know if that'll screw them up more, but it'll definitely be more aesthetically pleasing for me to look at. I'm not a huge fan of them, but uh, that's it guys. It seems like the first round, um, almost everyone gave me two eggs, except for one and two and possibly three. Uh, and I have to check if these are all fertile. So, I'll do an update on that once I know what's going on. But uh, there is another update I got to show you. It's with my whites. I'll show you in a second. Alright, so the update with the whites. Um, I had seven birds. I got rid of one. I just let him go. He was developing, or she, whoever, was developing like a growth on their, um, on their eye. And it got pretty sizable, and I really didn't like the bird. 
Tried to clean her up. Her tail was all green. I mean, all these birds had worms, first of all. So, um, they seem to have cleaned up pretty nice. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but they're all white. I mean, they're not dirty anymore. Their feet are pretty clean now. Um, they look like healthy birds. I've been giving them... I, I ran them through three courses of medication. I've given them worms uh, probably five or six times, or worm medication five or six times. Um, and I give them, you know, the vitamins in their water. I give them vitamins on their food. I give them some really good quality grit. I mean, I'm treating these birds just like I treat my racers. And, um, so I got rid of the one bird because I noticed the growth on its eye and just, and I've been praying that no one else developed anything. And it's been about a week and now I notice this guy the other day, one of my favorites of the six, has a growth on his mouth in the beak area. You see it in the corner there on his his right, the left side that you're looking at. Um, it's scabbed over. I think this is pox. I mean, I'm not an expert. I looked it up. I think it's pox. And there's no cure for pox. But... Uh, I did notice um, another bird here has a growth on its eye. So I'm assuming they're all probably gonna now have pox. So first it was, they were shitting out worms and now they're all developing growths on their eye or beak area. So I am definitely not happy with my purchase at this point. I mean, I am, it's a bittersweet. I'm happy I have white birds, but uh, seems like a lot of work at this point. Um, it was a hundred dollar investment, you know, I mean, it's not a lot of money. I mean, it is for me, you know, I don't like spending a lot of money on my birds, um, but I don't have to, uh, I'd rather spend it on my family or save it. But, uh, this was supposed to be an investment, you know, to breed birds and release birds for people. I think there's another growth on this guy's eye. I don't know if you can see. Oh. You see that? That's new, that growth from the bottom of his eye. Anyway, I don't wanna keep this video too long, but uh, I'll keep you updated on what's going on. Uh, if anybody has any advice, I always take advice. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna try this. I, I have these Tony's Treasure tablets, pigeons. Obviously it doesn't treat pox. There's, I don't think there is a treatment, but uh, treatment for such symptoms as poor performance, respiratory distress, canker, sinusitis, air sacculitis, or whatever that is, a bunch of other things, diarrhea, weight loss. So I'm going to give them this, see if this does anything. I know that they say that they can get a secondary bacteria if they have pox. I mean, I'm not even sure if this is pox. I mean, maybe it's canker. I don't, I think it's pox, but, uh, I don't think it's canker. But um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching as always. And, um, you know, comment in the comment section. I appreciate it. Uh, any advice or um, ideas, I'm open to it. And uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.